And we're talking to Pat Mikan, of course, the wife of the great George Mikan in town today mm -hmm. for a special celebration over here on Broadway Street, now known as George Mikan Drive. So good to see you, Pat. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. My daughter and I are, on behalf of our family, came and we're delighted. Right. What do you think of this beautiful statue we have right next to us here? Isn't yeah, it superb? It's, yes, it is. It's just beautiful. He did a wonderful job and he didn't know George, but he, he just did a great job. Right. And yeah. you, did you get my picture that I sent you of, uh, of, the, of the signs? And George said one time, the last time I talked to him, that he'd probably never get to see it. I said, yes, you will. I just oh. mailed it to you. Ah, uh, yes. Where, the, street, where's the, sign? the street sign. Well, they're supposed to be all along here, but they only have them at a certain quarters. Right down here at Ingalls, they have it for sure. Oh, okay. And, uh, I just wondered. All right. We're so proud of it. Of course, we just looked down Old Broadway Street, yes. and it yes. means so. I, where, where are you from, by the way, Pat? Chicago. From Chicago. Yeah. So you heard you heard about Joliet way before this, but uh, you really have heard about it well, since I think so, Mary. So <laughs> Mary. I was going with him, and he lived in Joliet. Oh, well, see, I don't know how far back that went. So. We can just look down the street here and see where he played softball at Rivals Park. Right. Right down the, the other. Restaurant. And the restaurant. And the tavern. Yes. And the skating rink. Right. And what did I miss? Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know too much more. I, we haven't been here for, I haven't been here for a million years, so it's a little bit built up. But still, things still look a little bit the same. Exactly. And, of right. course, Brother Ed was involved with the bowling establishment right. up there in Theodore. Right. And uh -huh. what, what a terrific, terrific name Mike and is. And to me, oh. it's probably the biggest name ever hit the Joliet area. And oh. I've been here all my life, too. Oh, that's very nice of you people. Thank you. But, Thank uh, you. Anyway, Pat, we enjoy your company here today Thank and your you. daughter. Thank and you. uh, so nice that you come in this beautiful day yes. to again acknowledge the greatest athlete ever to come out of the Joliet area. Oh, thank you so much, Don. Thank you. Pat Mikan, thank you very much. Right. We're a not-for-profit that does artwork all around the region, and we partner with the city of Joliet to create this sculpture. Uh, I would first like to um, uh, bring up here David Standifer, who is a Friends of Community Public Art artist. And where is David? He's right over here. Please stay here for a second. And uh, while I, uh, well, he's going to say a few words about the sculpture, but I also want to acknowledge all the people here, uh, city officials, government officials, who are, came here to support us. Uh, we have with us uh, Mayor Art Schultz, he can uh, raise his hand there, who's been a big supporter of our program for all these years, and without which the Friends of Community Public Art uh, couldn't exist. And uh, Alex Ledesma, he'll be speaking a little later. He's the city councilman from this district who sponsored this particular project from his uh, community funds. We have uh, A.J. Wilhelmy, wave your hand. Uh, he's a state senator uh, uh, from this district. Uh, George Mikan is uh, next to him, who is the U.S. representative from this district and uh, uh, cousin, first cousins of George Mikan. We also have a rep representative, uh, state representative uh, Jack McGuire. And where is Jack? There he is, waving. Uh, uh, and did I forget anybody? Okay, and now I'm going to have uh, um, David, he'll talk a, bit, a little bit about how the sculpture came to be and the people he dealt with, uh, with the family and the basketball people. Hello, my name is David Standifer. I'm the sculptor of the George Mikan. Thank you. I'd like to thank Friends of Community Public Art, Kathleen Farrell, the leader, who um, hired me to do this piece. Just a brief history about myself. Um, I was originally a um, instructor from the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. I wanted to give that a break, and as I uh, did so, Ms. Kathleen Farrell was kind enough to um, hire me as a member of Friends of Community Public Art. Thank you again. I'd like to also thank um, members of DePaul University Athletic Department for their great assistance, without whom I would have had a tough time doing this piece. So thank you very much and thank you for being here. But a very warm and special thank you for Mrs. George Mikan. I was doing an interview uh, earlier before we got started here, and one of the questions they asked was, what was one of the great helps? And although the conversation was very brief, without the information Ms. Mikan gave, you would not see the energy and power that you see in Ms. George Mikan. It was speaking with her that gave me that. Thank you again. <laughs> Ms. 
there was another group that wanted to be here, but they could not. That was members of the Lakers. Their owner, Dr. Jerry Buss, sent a letter that he asked me to read. It is a well-deserved honor that George Mikan is receiving today in the city of Joliet, Illinois. Although 2,000 miles from Los Angeles and 57 years after he led the Lakers to their first NBA championship, their first. His impact is still being felt and enjoyed by millions of fans who are feeling the efforts of the current players who benefit from George Mikan's pioneering efforts. George Mikan was not only the NBA's first superstar, but more specifically, he was the first in a long line of great Laker centers. He blazed a trail which allowed other Laker centers to follow. Legends such as Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Shaquille O'Neal went on to bring glory and championships to the Lakers, although their careers might never have happened had it not been for the efforts and success of one George Michael. Several years ago, the Lakers had the good fortune to retire George's number 99 jersey, which now hangs from the Raptors at the Staples Center, home of the Lakers. The statue being unveiled today in Joliet is the latest well-deserved honor for George Mikan. No one has ever played in the NBA who deserves it more. Dr. Jerry Buss, owner of the Lakers. George Mikan changed the game of basketball forever. And this is entitled Inspiration. Artist works can derive from many sources. The most powerful and sincere artwork comes from that which inspires the artist. Inspiration can sometimes be difficult to find. It is not always easy to be inspired by objects or subjects. There are those rare exceptions. George Michael. It is, impo it is impossible not to be inspired by the ferocious competitiveness, intelligence, high skill, and determination that has few equals. As you will hear this in great detail from our guest speakers, the many great accomplishments of Michael. But to note, George Mikan overcame physical impairments and lack of any training before he entered college, only to become one of the greatest players to ever play the game of basketball. The late great coach of DePaul University, Ray Myers said, there was no other player that made the strides of learning how to play the game as much as Mike and did. No player ever came as far. No player. Historians of the game of basketball often say basketball has two acts. The second act is Michael Jordan. The first act was George Mikan. Finally, George Mikan, as you heard from the Lakers, was the first superstar of basketball. Where Mike and played, championships and rings were inevitable. George Mike and was the champion's champion. Inspiration for this piece was magnified for me, and I hope this sculpture does some justice to the man and his awe-inspiring accomplishments in basketball. Thank you. Bronze sculpture and uh, they, uh, the, uh, uh, to do a bronze sculpture it takes about three months of hard labor with a model and great skill and years of training and then it goes to a foundry and has three more work, work, uh, months of hard labor uh, with skill, skilled people. So this is quite an honor to have such an uh, important uh, artwork created uh, for Joliet. I want to bring up uh, Don Landis now. He's uh, been involved in the uh, sports world in Joliet for years and years. And uh, we are going to have a few other people come up and speak, and we have some awards to give out, just to give you a little preview, and then you get to eat and drink. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so very much. What a, what, a, what a great day. 
of our county, what a great day in our city, what a great guy was George Mikan. I had the, uh, the honor of knowing this man so, so very, very well, and I can remember so many instances that I could keep you here all day, and I could keep you here all day just announcing all the people that are here that uh, of renown who uh, deserve pats in the back, but uh, we'll save that for another time. It's just uh, the fact that this street here, every time I go down this street, every time anybody goes down this street, they can just say, George Mikan once lived on this street, just down the street a little bit. The Mikan name for many, many years, known to everybody, Mikan Skating Rink, Mikan Tavern, Mikan Restaurant, George Mikan playing short field for the old Joliet Rivals softball team right down the street here. I hate to say it, but I used to sneak in those games just to watch George and all the rest of that outstanding team uh, play the game of softball. He played short field, and that's when they had 10 players, and he used to stand out there between short and second and stick up those big arms with that little glove on. It looked like a, a winter glove on his hand, but uh, just memories, memories, and more memories, and the one that I can't thank him enough for way back in 1961 when I opened my chalk and cue in Archery 2 down in Joliet, Illinois. Uh, George Mikan flew in from Minneapolis, Minnesota to uh, just to help me have a great grand opening. His brother Ed was mostly responsible for that, a great guy also. And of course Ed not too long ago ran the bowling alley up here on Theodore Street. I've uh, talked a little bowling over the many years I've been around the area also. And that's, a, that's another story. But this, this commemoration today means so much to so many people. And I think we've got a real nice turnout here at least folks to come out in honor to me. Not only the greatest athlete ever come out of the Joliet area, the greatest name, the greatest personality, the greatest person ever to come out of the, uh, the Joliet area. And this is such a beautiful thing. And uh, the commemoration and the way Eddie, or rather the way George looks up there, uh, just the way he did when he was doing so many great things on the basketball court. What a great, great name. And I, I keep saying it over and over, and you probably get tired of hearing it. I don't think you will. Not in the name of Mikan. And of course, Pat coming in today, the uh, wife of uh, the great George Mikan. I remember the last time I talked to George, which was just a month or so before he, he left us. And, uh, and I mentioned the fact that the street has now been named after, uh, after George Mikan. And, and he said, I'll probably never get a chance to see it. And I said, yes, you will, because I just mailed out a picture of uh, one of the, the road signs here, and I could just feel the, the tears on the other end of the line. But uh, how could you forget a guy like George Michael? And like I say, I'd like to just stand and talk and talk and talk about this great athlete, something I've been doing for many, many years about the many people that are here today and, and all the sports guys will, will probably throw pies at me or throw whatever they want at me, but uh, I'll never forget uh, Mr. Mr. George and all the rest of you outstanding athletes. It's been fun. It really has. And on the behalf of the Mike and family, too, I want to thank you all for coming out today for this great commemoration. We've got 9,000 other speakers. I'm getting out of here. Thank you. Every uh, uh, sculpture we do, the city of Joliet uh, sponsors us to do something made in fiberglass. And we always want to make it in real bronze. And then we have to find a sponsor who will we'll come up with the uh, extra money. And in this case, it was Brent Wadsworth uh, had provided the funds to cast this in bronze to make it a permanent part of this area. He also had done the same kind of same support for the Jesse Barfield sculpture. So this, we're giving him a small uh, statue of uh, the, this sculpture, also done by uh, David Sandifer here, and appreciation. And if you'd like to say a few words. George was a uh, model of a person that I aspired to in my life. I uh, grew up here with Don, and I used to sneak him down here at Rivals AC often. And uh, when they called and said that this opportunity was available, uh, I thought this is one of the nicest things we can do for this city, is honor a person who really exemplified the best tradition of the city of cha champions. And uh, I know all those places Don mentioned because I used to deliver papers right down on this street 60 some years ago. And it was a wonderful part of life. So uh, I I'm pleased to be here today and to accept this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next 
I'd like Alex Ledesma and the mayor to come forward. Art Schultz uh, from the city of Joliet and Alex Ledesma, the city councilman from this district, District 4. District 4. Uh, his district includes this near near west side of Joliet and uh, what we call that, the northeast side also, right? Uh, uh, now, they're going to fight over these, but actually we made this for Alex. Uh, but we could probably get another one for the mayor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is for the city of Joliet, let's put it this way. We're all... Uh, uh, giving this statue and thanks for the city support uh, uh, of our project. And Alex, if you'd like to say it. Thank you. the mayor. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I didn't speak in the rivals because I was too young. I'm not as old as these guys are. But anyway, Mrs. Mike, welcome back to Joliet. We're honoring a man who was not only a great person, individual, but also a great athlete. fundraiser for the school or something else and uh, George Mikan's name was brought up and I'm always looking to improve the city of Joliet especially with champions like the, the late George Mikan and uh, the idea uh, came to me and uh, I approached Mr. Jim Heller and uh, Mr. Jim Heller says uh, you know what he was Joliet even though he didn't live in Joliet I don't know much of the history of him but whatever little I know I uh, will always remember it, and uh, he was Joliet, he was a true champion, I says, well, why not have our own George Mikan? So uh, we picked the spot, I got the support from the mayor, the city council, and uh, with uh, Kathleen Farrell, uh, coming up with a great design, and uh, now it's here, and it's a great dedication for this area. Thank you again for being here. little sculpture. Oh, we want to have Mrs. Mikan come up and accept this uh, in appreciation for uh, all the great contributions your husband gave to Joliet and the rest of uh, the country. You'd like to say a few things. You want her to hold on. Thank you everyone for coming, especially to the city of Joliet for doing this for George. He would be very proud. I mean, he never forgot Joliet. And when the kids were younger, we used to come a lot. We'd pack up the station wagon and bring them down to the bar and the restaurant and everything. And then, of course, you know, as everyone got older and so forth, we didn't get down as much. But he always remembered and we remembered. So thank you very much, and especially to David, the sculptor, too. If wonderful and very beautiful and thank you all so very much for that. Uh, you know that at these events where you have tents and food and everything uh, don't happen by themselves and I want to thank uh, our administrator Chantel White, would you wave your hand back there? And our financial officer Karen Liga who's standing next to her and they were up at dawn doing various things and all the writing and the brochures. Uh, once again, we want to thank everybody who's come out here. I don't know, uh, did uh, Larry Walsh, who's the county executive, you certainly can come forward. And AJ, if you'd like to say a few things about, uh, no, you're just waving. Okay, they're waving. They're in support of the public art. Uh, and what am I supposed to do? Uh, Chantel's making, oh, and we're supposed to thank Channel 7 for coming out? Okay, yes, uh, thank you, Channel 7. I, I, we're having pantomimes going on in the back here. <laughs> so uh, enjoy yourself, have some refreshments. Uh, come and look at the sculpture a little closer.